Hello guys, the Nightfall Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Nightfall with 1,882 rating versus Jeremy Taibu with 1,610 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Nightfall's Twitter, link down below in the description, you can message him if you want to go ahead and get coaching, uh, but we will see Jeremy win the Rocket Bear Scissor Shoot, and they'll go first, 40 versus 53. Opening hands, we have Fusion Duplication, Alibur, Cartesia, Droplet, Branded Opening. They have Desires, Fenrir, Theosis, Desires, Pot of Prosperity. Okay, so they have multiple dead cards in their hand right now. Uh, activate Pot of Desires, go ahead, Banish, draw Talents, Valor. Uh, they Banish a Theosis, a Rise, a Birth, a Unicorn, another Unicorn. Okay, so nothing like too bad. I guess like, you know, two Unicorn down... Kind of sucks. Uh, special summon out Fenrir. Fenrir, go search out for Cash G River Ice Heart. And then Theosis, summon out Unicorn and Defense. Unicorn effect, go search out Birth. And then, yep, yep, yep. Uh, activate Birth, pass. They draw Fallen of Albaz. Okay, so just ends on a very, very, very simple end board. So now. Branded, we'll go activate opening, discard Fallen of Albaz, summon out Quem, and then Quem effect, go dump Retribution. Now this is still draw phase 2, so this will let them play around talents for the time being. Uh, but they're going to go ahead, banish Quem, and banish Albi on the Song Key Fire, which that card is pretty good against Cash Tira, even if it's not gimmick puppeting. Uh, Cartesia, special summon out, normal summon out Alibur, effect, go search out Branded Fusion. That is good. And then activate Branded Fusion to go ahead, dump Fallen of Albaz, Bestial Lubellion, summon out Albion, Albion Chainlink 1, Birth Chainlink 2, target Albaz, Albaz, and Lubellion. And then we're going to chain Cartesia. So Cartesia, uh, I mean, they have Valor. Okay, so they're going to chain Valor onto the Cartesia, which is actually really good there because uh, now Albion has to resolve by banishing off of the field there. Uh, so that will be banishing Cartesia and Alibur, bring out Grangoyle, Grangoyle effect, go dump Albion, and then battle phase, beat over, beat over, you know, thankfully they caught the summoning and defense, uh, set droplet, fusion duplication, end phase, Albion, go set branded in red, okay, so, you know, birth, very, 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 very good card there. Uh, definitely hurting them a little bit. Pass, draw Pressured Planet, activate Pressured Planet, go search out Fenrir. Okay. And then Special Summon out Fenrir. Fenrir effect to go search. Uh, it's going to go search out the Scareclaw Cash Tira. Yeah. Uh, activate Birth, summon out Unicorn. And then on Summon, they said okay. I mean, they have... You know, they have Fusion Duplication, which can go ahead and copy. They have Branded in Red afterwards, that'll be good. We have Droplet that's live. Oh, uh, we only play one Quem, so we don't have, like, that to tag out into. Uh, they're going to go search out for a Theosis, and then Normal Summon Out, Cash Tira, Rise Hearts. That way we still have access to Lynx. Effect, Banish Birth, make them Banish 3 face down. Hits a Tragedy, Branded Fusion, Shrouded Dragon, which actually, like... Hitting Branded Fusion is actually starting to get pretty good here because they'll actually banish one of their own off Fusion Duplication. Uh, so definitely not bad there. Not crazy though since I'm pretty sure those were all multiples that will still be in deck. Well, I guess one Branded Fusion in deck, at least one Tragedy, and at least one Shrouded Dragon. Uh, so now we make Big Eye. Uh, also, while they have Pressured Planet face up, Sky Crisis becomes a lot worse. Uh, big guy, go ahead, try to take Grand Goyle. They said, sure. And then they said, okay, Rez is fine. Scareclaw, Cash Tira, Banish, Summon Out. Uh, Theosis, Grab Back Birth. I think maybe Nightfall was scared there because they could have made like a SP. Maybe that's something that they're just thinking about. Uh, now they're going to make a Sky Crisis. Sure. Battle Phase. Uh, Fusion Duplication. Onto Branded Fusion, Chain Retribution on the opening. And I was going to say, because you can't chain this onto Fusion, because this needs to actually banish uh, to apply. Then we're going to dump Tragedy, Fallen of Albaz, bring out Lubellion, uh, Effect. They also forgot to banish the Branded Fusion, which could come up. Uh, so Lubellion, Tragedy, Chain Droplet, and then 
yeah, yep, they went ahead banished there. Uh, send Lubellion, Albion to stop Fenrir and Sky Crisis. Okay. Um, so that'll go through. And then put back. Summon out Mirror Jade. Now new Chain Link. Uh, they do have Birth. So activate Birth. Uh, target. I mean, obviously, I think they're just going to target Tragedy, Lubellion, Albion. Try to just banish those. And then they can go, like, Chain Mirror Jade, Chain Branded and Red. Or probably Chain... Oh, actually, I guess... Oh, no, you can, you can Mirror Jade, yeah, because we did Droplet. So we can go, like... You probably Branded and Red first, and then Mirror Jade. Uh, so they're going to target Albion, Opening Tragedy. Chain Branded in Red, Chain Mirror Jade, go ahead, Banish Sky Crisis, add back Tragedy, then Banish Everything, bring out Guardian Chimera, those get Banished face down, now new Chain Link, uh, Guardian Chimera 1, add Lib 2, Summon out Mirror Jade, draw Talon, Shrouded Dragon, pop Scareclaw, catch Tira, main phase 2, Pot of Prosperity, uh, we're going to Banish, look at the top 6, and then that doesn't hit anything. I mean, okay, it hits Ash. Yeah, I guess we just go for Ash Blossom there. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, put back, put back, put back. Yeah, grab Ash Blossom. Sure. And then we're going to go Set Desires. Pass. Oh. Uh, sure. I guess... I guess we probably locked ourselves too much by going for the Sky Crisis. I guess that probably wasn't the best decision ever. Uh, end phase, we're going to go Titanic Clad, Chain Ash Blossom on that. Mirror Jade, Dump Albion, Banishes Fenrir, Albion Effect. Yeah, they just submit the feet there. Uh, they're going to get Grand Goyle back too. So... On to the next game. Well, actually, they won't get Grand Goal back. Never mind. Because it wasn't like a Talents took it. Never mind. It was, um, yeah, it was Big Eye that took it. Um, so now we got Bistial, Lubellion, Branded Fusion, Shrouded Dragon, Edge Jump, Chain, Called by. They have Pressured Planet, Terraforming, Pot of Prosperity, Ash Blossom, and DDG. So their hand is excellent this game. They're going to go activate Pressured Planet, go search out Unicorn. You know, last game they did have a few cards that weren't live. Uh, this game, they have one that's not live, but it'll be live next turn. Uh, so go Unicorn in the Theosis, Theosis in the Fenrir, and then Fenrir effect to go search. Grab out Kashtira Rise Heart. Okay, Terraforming, go search out the Pressured Planet, and then activate the Pot of Prosperity to go Banish 6, and then look at the top 6. So they're just trying to play around Droll, otherwise, you know, you could argue to start with Terraforming if this is what they planned on doing. Uh, so that way there was like one less unknown card in hand um, but look at the top six so i mean that's just birth it's looking like um yeah so just grab back birth put the rest of the cards back to the bottom all right and then special summon out cast hero rise heart rise heart banish birth make them banish three face down hits a fallen of albaz there that's not a bad hit overlay up in the shang and then set DDG pass. Okay, so it is a little bit dangerous just making Shang because fusion deployment and stuff like that. Or normal someone falling of Albaz is scary. But pass, draw thrust. So now they're going to go standby phase, Shang, bring out Unicorn. And then main phase, activate the rust. Ash blossoms the thrust right away. Doesn't want to deal with whatever that's going to go ahead and search. But now they're going to get hit with Called By. It's like, technically could have played around that by using DDG before, but what are the odds they're going to draw Called By plus something that you need to Ash instantly in their 51 card strategy? And then activate Lightning Storm on back row, chain DDG. Okay. Uh, so now they have to go up against Fenrir, Unicorn, really. So I only know Birth and Hand, right? Oh, that's not true. They actually do know both the cards if they were paying more attention last turn. Branded Fusion, Dump Fallen of Albaz, Tragedy, bring out Lubellion, and then Lubellion 1, Tragedy 2, and then, yep, that's going to go through, so go ahead and search out Alibur, and then put back Fallen of Albaz, put back Lubellion, summon out Dragos to Paleo, 
And then on summon Fenrir, Unicorn, chain Dragos to Paleo onto Fenrir. So rip the Lubellion from the extra deck. And then Shang to go lock a zone. Activate Shrouded Dragon, dump Retribution, put back draw into a Talons. Wow, okay, that's a solid draw. Uh, so now activate Talons to draw two. Uh, so that draws into a Droplet and a Branded in red. Normal summon out Alibur, and then Alibur effect. Go search Branded opening, Battle Phase, Dragos to Paleo, Beat Over Unicorn. And then we're going to go set droplets, set opening, set branded in red, pass, they draw birth. Okay, so Shang effect in standby phase, Dragos to Paleo on it, activates birth. Uh, let me think, because now they could have started with just make SP instead of activating birth. But I guess activate birth, see if they interact with it. And then we're just going to go birth effects, summon out unicorn, unicorn effect, activate opening, activate droplet to send Alibur plus opening to shut down Fenrir, unicorn, then discard Bestial Lubellion, summon out Quem. Sure, so wants to shut down the Fenrir, even if Dragos to Paleo happens to leave the field. Um, so now, yeah, summon out Quem, they said any chain links, because I mean they do have birth. So they are going to go ahead, birth on the Branded Fusion, Alibur, Lubellion, Chain Retribution. I guess you could also argue maybe they should have pressured playing it first. I don't know, there's like, there's definitely other ways to play it other than birth summon out Unicorn. Um, but pressured playing it would have made it that way, birth banish equals planet pop. But now they're going to go uh, Quem to dump, Chain Retribution. Uh, they're going to go ahead... Add back Branded Fusion, Dump Fallen of Alabaz, and then Banish Alibur, Bestial Lubellion, face down. Okay. Now, New Chain Link. Yeah, nothing on New Chain Link. Uh, activate Pressured Planet to go search. So that will go ahead and search out a Scareclaw Cash Tier from the deck to the hand. That's fine. Uh, we do have Theosis Engraver with Birth Banish, so we can get access to the third Birth. Uh, Scareclaw, Cash Tira, Banish Theosis, Special Summon out, and then Theosis Effect, grab back Birth. That's good. Switch to Attack. Also, I want to see what they banished again. Um, Okay, so didn't banish... Yeah, I was just making sure they didn't banish Sky Crisis. Uh, which, again, they have Pressured Planet, though, so it's not going to be nearly as good. Uh, battle phase, branded in red, add back Fallen of Albaz, banish Fallen of Albaz plus Dragos to Paleo, bring out Mirror Jade, and then here they're gonna go Mirror Jade effect before, you know, Scareclaw Cash Tira makes it negated. Uh, dump Albion, banish Scareclaw Cash Tira, and they said, yup, you are good. So Fenrir attack. Uh, let's see, it was at 12, and then it started ganging attack. Okay, yeah, so it can beat over. They're going to activate the effect target Mirror Jade, but it's under Droplet. Yeah. Had to reread Dragos to Paleo. Uh, yeah, it was stopped by Droplet. That, that's why it stopped. Uh, nah, if its effects are already negated. Any Droplet. The Droplet negate won't apply, right? Well, here's the thing. is Dragos to Paleo doesn't actually negate the effects, right? It's not like Imperm. It just, while it has the counter... Negate the activated effects of your opponent's monsters that have a predator counter. So, it works differently. Yeah, so... They said, yep, yep, that's good, that's good, that's good. So Fenrir is a level 1 still. Yep, it still has the counter, even though Dragos to Paleo is off the field. Uh, so now they're going to make SP, SP, banish Mirror Jade, and then they're thinking if they want a Mirror Jade, which they do. And then chain SP to banish itself plus Fenrir. End phase, Albion, go ahead, search out Branded Lost. And then it said, after you resolve Jade, Jade resolves. Yup. Um, why, why, why did they accept Mirror Jade resolving, though? They didn't have to do that. They could have just said, you know, turn player goes past priority. And you're like, okay, sure, past priority. They are like, okay, past priority. And you're like, okay, past priority. And, you know, we can't keep running in a circle like this. So now turn player resolves there, you're like mandatory effect. And then you're like, okay, now I will resolve like my effect that's like, you know, mandatory to resolve at some point. And then we could have wiped their field. 
uh, past draw branded in red and then activate lost and then activate fusion go dump fallen of albaz dump cartesia bring out albion and then albion lost search out cartesia and then banish to go ahead and summon out a mirror jade and then so then he triggers uh, they're gonna go mirror jade dump can't birth because lost yeah, so they're going to go ahead, banish the Fenrir, and then, yeah, the opponent's just going to go ahead and admit defeat there, because they can see the writing on the wall, so GG's, GG's, yeah, GG, GG, okay, okay, so we ended up seeing Branded win over Kashtir there, the match was about 47 minutes long, uh, there's not too much to say, I am surprised it was 47 minutes long, though, for this match, it didn't feel like that long of a match, but I guess there was like a lot to play through here with like DDG being activated and everything like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, not too much more to say. Just trying to look over little things. Yeah, no nothing else to really bring up here. Uh, Cash Tier is definitely an interesting choice to play this format. I don't think it's the best deck this format. I like the last format a good amount for sure. But this format, nope, nope. I don't like it very much. Uh, but also, oh, I guess the one thing that was interesting is they were playing Desire's End Pot of Prosperity, so they are playing like a Mega Consistency deck. I, I mean, they're probably playing 3-3, three and three, which I don't know if I necessarily agree with, because then, then you're going to start having like dead cards, and like, I don't know how many like dead cards you want into these matchups. I understand you don't want a brick, but like... You know, I, I, I don't know how I feel about all that consistency. But, alright, with so that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.